If your specific amplifier or amplifiers are not listed in the setup wizard of the DriveRack PA2, this tutorial will show you how to optimize your gain structure manually. First, you need to make sure that any processors that do not pertain to your speaker tunings are turned off before performing this procedure. This includes the graphic EQ, compressor, AFS, limiters, and subharmonic synth. Now, turn off your amplifiers, then unplug your speakers, and turn your input attenuators on the amplifiers fully counterclockwise. Consult your amplifier manufacturer before attempting this in order to verify it is safe to run your amplifiers without a load. Play a sample of pink noise through your mixer and set the channel containing the pink noise to unity gain. Make sure to also match the plus 4 or minus 10 switch to match your mixer's operating level. Raise the master fader until you're just under the clip point. This is zero of the drive rack PA2's inputs. If you can't achieve this with the master fader, raise the channel fader until you are at this point. If you still cannot reach this point, adjust the trim or gain pot until you are just under zero. Now, with your speaker still unplugged, turn your amplifiers back on. Turn up each amplifier attenuator until you just clip the amplifier, then back it off until it's just under clipping. Do this for each amplifier channel. Mark this setting on all of your amplifiers, as you do not want to exceed this setting when running your system. Increase the amplifier attenuator until the level just starts to clip. Open the drive rack's limiter control for the particular output that you're working with. Remember that the outputs of the drive rack PA2 are stereo tied, so you will do this two channels at a time. Turn the limiter on. Set the over easy to off. Adjust the limiter's threshold until the clip LEDs on the amplifiers just turn off. Set the amplifier's attenuators back to the mark you made earlier and turn off the pink noise. Turn off your amplifiers and plug your speakers back in. Turn down the master fader on your mixer. Play a music CD through your mixer and adjust it to unity gain. Turn on your amplifiers and slowly raise your master fader until you reach 0 VU on your mixer's LED meter. Note. When using a digital console, raise the level until you reach approximately negative 16 dBFS. This is the equivalent to zero VU on a dBU meter. Adjust your amplifier's attenuators until you reach the desired performance level and have a good blend of highs, mids, and lows. You want it to be as seamless and flat as possible. Remember, you cannot raise the attenuators past the mark that you made, so you'll have to pull the louder frequencies down. For example, if there's not enough bass, lower the mid-high amp attenuators. If you cannot reach the desired amount of gain, your system may not be adequate for the size of the venue. Once you've completed this procedure, you can run the auto EQ. After running the auto EQ, you may also need to recheck and readjust the amplifier's attenuators and limiters due to the change in gain from the graphic EQ. You can also run the AFS wizard if needed.